Hi everyone, tudo bom? This is Darcy and today I'm gonna give you my 30 days update with before and afters from using the Faipushi in the month of January. So if you want to hear more about it, keep on watching. But before we get to this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Let's start with the before and after. And I have a lot to talk about with the before and afters. And after before and afters, I'm going to talk about my experience using it, my thoughts about it. And to be completely honest, I've used the Faipushi way less than I should have normally because I had COVID. So I stopped using the Faipushi for 10 straight days and I still had results. The most thing I want you guys to pay attention on my after photo is my lid space. I feel like I have more lid space than I had in January and I feel my lid space in general is getting better because when you lift your muscle, you get more lid space and I also have been tidying up that skin here. I'll be 45 this year, guys, and I feel like with every year since I had my 40s, I tend to get more droopiness. So whenever I'm not using microcurrent or devices, I have hardly any lid space. <laughs> I always had hooded eyes, but now that I'm getting older, they're kind of, you know, getting extra hooded from gravity. That's normal. Microcurrent is really helpful if you have hooded eyes or if your eyes are getting droopy to lift that eye up. On the photos I'm going to be showing you today, there are no filters, there's no smoothing, nothing, but I myself had to look at the phone setting to make sure there was no smoothing filters because I actually thought, is there a smoothing filter on this after photo? But there is not. It's just that my skin got so much better. I think mostly because I was using with the microbiome ample, which I talk about it on the other video, and that really helped, I think, to make my skin more even more smooth, and I think my pores are even smaller, so I want you to keep all this information in mind when you look at the before and afters. On my before photo, I was not using any microcurrent before. I was using other devices that don't use microcurrent, but I do feel like my lid space was getting better in general with the other tools that I was using, but you can see the huge difference by adding microcurrent with the after photo on the actual eyelid space itself because microcurrent lifts the muscle and other devices that i was using they were working on the skin and collagen production which they did help a lot also with wrinkles and and some lifting as well but besides just the slight difference of lighting you can totally see the eyelid space and the overall lift of my face and especially the eyelid space i want you to take a look and i put this little white graph there so you can see the size difference from the before to the after and the only tool i used was the Faipushi, and i'm going to show you another before and after after this one that will show you my mid results when i had stopped using Faipushi, but i still had my lift and that's when i started using the microbio ample to complete the third the rest of 30 days this before and after happened right after I had COVID, so I had stopped using the Faipushi, but I still had the lift. And then as I started using again, you can see my eye got even more open. And also it's important to notice my hair is down, so it's not up. So I wanted to give you two different photos so you guys can see the lift in different types of environment. The lighting is a little different, but you can totally tell how my eye is more lifted and open and my face is also more like a v shape and again the skin looks smoother on the after photo because as soon as i got done with covid which is the before photo which you can see my eyes already lifted from using if i pushy before getting covid and on the after photo is from using if i pushy with the microbiome ample and then completing the 30 days test very impressed that even though i stopped for 10 days i still saw amazing results with this device now i'm going to give you some tips on how to get the best results from the if pushy First of all, start slow, guys. I cannot emphasize that enough. This is microcurrent and not EMS. If you don't know the difference, I have a video talking about it. Please watch the video to know the difference. Because when you're using the Faipushi, especially when you first start using, it can give you some twitching because it is such a strong device. That twitching, you do not want that twitching when it's microcurrent. When you feel twitching using microcurrent, you should lower the level because the type of current the microcurrent has is a gentle current that should never feel pain, that should never feel anything really. You might feel some stuff on your scalp or sometimes on your teeth, but that's about it. Microcurrent should never be feeling like a twitch. When you feel a twitch is actually bad. So more with microcurrent is not better, but this is a very powerful device if you let it grow with your skin. For example, I started on level two and I'm a seasonal microcurrent person that I have been using for many, many years. I started on level two on all my face, but I would always lower to level one when I was doing my eye area, because whenever I was doing my eye area, if I 
head on level two, I would start feeling twitch. Then I would lower to level one. So basically all the first month I did level two on my face, level one on my eye area, and I still saw results. The way to know which level you should be using is to start slow. And then if you raise the level and you start getting twitching, lower the level. Always observe how your skin reacts and don't overdo it. I find that every other day has worked really great for me and I do my full tutorial that I've shared on the previous video so you can watch the video for the full tutorial. That's the one I do and I use both eye pushies to save time and actually has been working great for me. This goes to 600 microamps which is literally esthetician level and most home most home devices microcurrent only go to 400 so this being 600 is really powerful but you do not want to start on 600 that is actually really bad and you don't want to give a muscle fatigue because if you get muscle fatigue you start getting looking tired so if you start looking tired all of a sudden while you use microcurrent that means you're using it too high and is actually not good it's not going to damage your skin microcurrent will never damage your skin but that's something that you have to keep watching and that's why when I'm talking on my channel I'm always talking about your skin needs your skin needs you have to pay attention to your skin needs so maybe somebody else can start on level four and feel no twitching strong is good if you know how to use it otherwise you may not be getting the results you want so microcurrent less is more another tip of the fabushi is to use for sure with a good conductivity gel and conductivity means that the microcurrent is reaching the most levels of your skin so if you are doing microcurrent and you're not getting results that basically means you're not having conductivity i've been using it with glycerin i actually don't have it with me right now i've been using it with pure glycerin but somebody actually reached out to me that you can add like a pinch of salt to glycerin to actually increase the 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 conductivity i find that i get conductivity with just glycerin but that is also a tip if you want to add a pinch of salt to your glycerin or to your conductivity gel that can help increase conductivity i got conductivity fine with just glycerin by itself my mother-in-law is also using if i push it, she's also just using glycerin i'm actually really enjoying just using glycerin because glycerin doesn't dry out so quickly so you can kind of do your whole face without having to reapply and I like that but if you don't use glycerin you can also use any of your conductivity gels or serums but that means you're going to have to be spraying water constantly to make sure you have enough slip and conductivity and you also spray water and add constantly serums while you're doing microcurrent to keep the conductivity and also to prevent to get shocks so if you're doing microcurrent and you feel that shock not the twitch the shock or anything uncomfortable that means you don't have enough gel or don't have enough conductivity and that actually you're not going to be getting the results you want so that's another tip i have a whole video talking about tips on how to get the best results from any microcurrent so make sure you watch that one too in case i forgot to mention anything but those two that i mentioned in this video are really really important especially when you use the fibro sheet so far i've been loving if i push it so much i want to keep using it i'm going to be starting another review with another device soon because of that i'm not going to be using if i push it i may do some lives talking about if i push it or maybe demonstrations of certain moves but i'm not going to be using if i push it. not confuse the results for the other device and that's what i usually do on my channel when i start a device i like to stop the consistent uses of other devices so i can give you the most accurate reviews but the other device is actually on my teeth so that would be an interesting device to share with you guys but i'll talk about it in a future video i actually have a whole year plan with amazing reviews for you guys this year so make sure to subscribe and keep an eye on my channel if you guys have any questions please make sure to comment below i love hearing from you guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much i hope you're healthy and safe and i'll see you next time bye